My name is Charles Darrett, D-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, Churchwell. I was born in 1926 in Dunellen, Florida, one of nine children, and I'm in the middle of the group. There were four older than I am, and there are four younger than I am. What that turned out to be was I never had to be babysat by anybody else, but I had to babysit the four who were younger than I am. What was that like? It was a nightmare. <laughs> Why? Because I was always small for my age. And Anderson, my one of my younger brothers, was larger than I was. And he could beat me. <laughs> and I was supposed to be the boss when, when Mama was gone. She would give me the instructions. And Papa died when I was uh, 11 years old. And um, all of my siblings who were older than I am had to quit school and go to work because Mama was determined to keep us all together. When Papa died, he, we were in debt. Didn't make any difference how hard he worked, he could never get out of debt because he worked for this man who ran a turpentine still. And the man owned everything in town, the house we lived in, the store we bought food from, and he kept the books. And so when, at the end of the week, Papa never had enough money to pay cash. So he bought everything on credit, and he never got out of debt. As I said, my older siblings, they went, got jobs. Alfred and Tom, they had learned how to work in this turpentine field with Papa. So when Papa died, they continued to work in that turpentine business. The blacks did all the hard, sticky work. I say sticky because turpentine is sticky. Blacks did all that work. Whites drove the trucks and worked in the store. No blacks worked in the store. Juanita, the only girl in the family, took a job as a domestic in the family. And Mama was working, and she was saving all of her money. As she said, she was going to save that to buy her a lot to build her a house and keep us all together. Those were her goals. Mother was, she was determined that she was going to raise us all together. That's why I find it amusing when people talk about the difficulties of, of that single parents' children have that they don't grow up right. I said, that's nonsense. I said, because I'm a single parent product, and my mother raised all of us together, and she kept us all out of jail. We all learned how to work and be responsible. The best advice for kids in the world, what would you tell them? Somehow we got impressive on them, that hard work and discipline would get the job done, and nothing else.